Don't you hate it when there's times you have to have two windows open, kind of doing the same thing? You know, you got to look at one document, then you have to turn around and go to another document. It's kind of annoying. You know, if only there was some way that you could have two windows open and... Wait, what's, what's going on over here? Am I dragging one window over onto my Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1? I think I am. And that's because I'm able to do that with a little app called Air Display. Air Display costs $9.99, it's available in the Android market, and it basically lets you turn your Android tablet into a second monitor. Wired. And I'm going to show you how to set it up with the Samsung Galaxy Tab and a, uh, a MacBook that I have. You know, excuse this little janky setup that I have, I left my main computer stuff at home, but this is how you do it, and we're going to do it really quick. Alright, first thing you need to do is download Air Display from the Android market. It's $9.99. It's available for Android 2.3.7 and higher. So it should work on your Kindle Fire, Galaxy Tab 10.1, Asus Transformer Prime, all of that. Once that's done, you're going to go to avatron.com slash D and it's automatically going to detect if you have a PC uh, for Windows or if you have a Mac and it's going to download the installation package. Uh, once that happens, you're going to go to the top corner and you should see what looks like a uh, two little displays. Uh, you click on that and you're going to turn air display on and once that's done you're going to connect it to your device. Uh, in order to connect you have to launch the air display app on your your tablet. Uh, it's going to look like this. It's pretty clear to see. You launch that, you're going to pair the two devices, everything should be good to go. Once the devices are paired, you need to go to your system preferences. You launch that, then you're going to go to displays. And from displays, you click on arrangement. Alright, uh, right now it's set to mirror display. I turn that off because mirror display basically shows whatever's on your uh, desktop onto your tablet. You can do that if you want. You know, maybe you want to do like some tutorial video or something like that. Uh, but for now, we're going to show you how to get the multiple screen aspect. Uh, basically, what happens is right here with the little white on top, that's my main screen. And on the right is where my tablet is going to be. So if I want to make uh, everything that I drag to the left side of the, the desktop appear on the tablet, that's what I'm going to do. So right now, it appears that my tablet home screen is empty, right? Okay, so now that I've set it to drag to the left, I'm going to minimize this. All right, I'll drag this over to the right. Now there's some problems. Sometimes if you drag it too far, your mouse will get kind of caught over and you'll have to struggle to get it back to your main screen. But now that I have that document dragged all the way to the right, you'll see that it appears on my tablet. So if I have two documents open and I need to you know, work on them simultaneously without having to switch between windows, this is a good way to do it uh, easily without uh, you know minimum setup. It costs 99, but you know you're gonna if you're someone who frequently needs to have two windows open, this could be very useful to have. Uh, another possible way to do this: uh, let's say you have uh, Photoshop open, right? Uh, you want to move your palettes over. You know, on my screen, I have enough space, so it's not an issue. But if you wanted to move some palettes over, like the Navigator or something like that, you know, move it to another uh, that you can view on the tablet. Or, you know, have uh, some reference photos. Some, maybe you're inspired by an image or something like that. It's very simple to do and very easy to do. Uh, I'm testing out a proof all right, I drag it to the right screen. Click. And you can see the video doesn't update uh, once it's out of view. Oh, wait, wait. There it is. Okay, before it wasn't doing that, but now it seems to work. So there's one negative thing I can take away from it. So uh, let me mute that. Uh, let's say you have, like, a video open that you want to see, but you have some work to do. So, you know, you can have that window open as long as it's a little bit still viewable on the screen. Uh, you can have this open, you can have the audio running, and then you can go back to your Word document and get back to work. So this is a cool thing to have. It's available in the Android market right now. This is Andrew from Androidica.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any deep level questions, direct it to the company that makes the app, Avatron. Uh, this is just how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to use. And uh, I mentioned mirroring before, so I'll take you guys out showing how mirroring works. Uh, let me go back to YouTube. Uh, uh, wait, where was I on YouTube?
Oh, I forgot. Here we go. Alright. I'll make that system preferences and I'll turn back on mirror displays you see right there now whatever is on my screen will show on the tablet so I'll make this full screen and then now I've got full screen on the tablet it's not instantaneous it doesn't update as fluidly as the video on your computer does but it's it's fairly decent so check this out I uh, hope if you like the video subscribe this is Andrew from Jornica.com like the video subscribe